Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Cellular Respiration. Your cell phone is an amazing piece of technology. But as you know, if your battery is at zero, your phone doesn't function properly or function at all. In a similar manner, if a cell doesn't have power, it can't function properly. So where does the cell get its power from? Yes, cellular respiration. So what is cellular respiration? It's the process where cells take glucose, a type of sugar, and oxygen and turns them into energy. And that energy, it's called adenosine triphosphate or ATP and acts kind of like the battery that powers everything for your cells. ATP allows the cells to make proteins, power pumps, power active transport. Basically, it powers everything needed to keep the cell alive. What's the formula for cellular respiration? It takes sugar in the form of glucose plus oxygen and yields carbon dioxide and water and then creates energy in the form of ATP. Cellular respiration takes place mostly in a part of the cell called the mitochondria. Yes, the powerhouse of the cell. But in reality, it starts in the cytoplasm with a process called glycolysis. Glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm, you know, the jelly-like part of the cell. And one molecule of glucose gets broken in half, and it forms two molecules of pyruvate. A little bit of ATP is made here, but not a whole lot. Now things move into the mitochondria, where the real energy making begins. There are three major steps that happen here. First, each pyruvate, you know, it was created in the cytoplasm, moves into the mitochondria and is changed from a three-carbon molecule to a two-carbon molecule, which is needed in the citric acid cycle, also called the Krebs cycle. Next up is the citric acid cycle, also called the Krebs cycle. This part needs oxygen and makes more carbon dioxide and a few high energy molecules that are saved for later. These molecules are super important for the final step. And finally, we get to the last step, the electron transport chain. This happens within the inner membrane of the mitochondria and it requires oxygen. All those high energy molecules from before, well, they're used to make a lot of ATP, like over 30 molecules. This step also produces water as a waste product. So that's cellular respiration in a nutshell. It's how our cells turn food and oxygen into the energy needed to stay alive. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.